The end of the month is here for the Isle of Rima, and that means we have a full dev vlog to go through a lot of juicy information which means this video will be split into two today's video will be going over everything like the main stuff and then friday's video will be going through some other stuff as well which not that many people will be to have read by then anyways so time stamps for everything on the screen now and if you are new feel free to subscribe but other than that let's just dive right into all of this awesome dinosaur game news I think firstly it's good to talk about the two next updates for the game, update 5.5 and update 6. Update 6 and 5.5 actually got talked about quite a bit by Felipe in this video, or in this dev vlog should I say, and it's quite nice to see. Essentially the QA team, if I do recall correctly, the QA team has update 5.5's night vision system with both feedback and adjustments to be made. There are still some adjustments that the QA team and the developers need to, you know, fix and make adjustments to, and Felipe continued on to say that these are not bugs, but they need to be sorted out before this update is handed off to us, the general public, which means we could probably see this update quite soon, maybe in a month or so, which will be quite good. However, let's talk about update 6, because that is the main part, and I know that massive update is something you all are very excited for. So, update 6 has seen some insanely good progress lately, and Felipe had a lot to tell us about it, and he's shown us a teaser for the Gore system, and I'll have it on the screen now while I'm talking in this video, so you can see it, and it's incredible like you basically see a Utah Raptor corpse with its rib cage showing and its organs showing and its intestines probably coming out being dragged along the floor as well so it's great to see it's metal it's quite disturbing however it is a work in progress so do bear that in mind it does look a little like play-doh lately uh, in this footage but I mean that's just because it hasn't got many other effects on it too Update 6 will also change the diet system. Diet system will be expanded upon with slot combinations and new positive and negative effects depending on your diet, a new migration system and adaptive diet list and so much more that they haven't talked about just yet. And of course in the gore update itself we'll be getting this, bloody gore, organs, a lot of blood, new mechanic specific gore and new corpse interactions and changes to the scent system based on how old a corpse is and if it is rotten. So that's update 5.5 and 6. What do you guys think about all of this stuff? It's great to see. I'm very excited to see it all. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get into more information about this update in the future and probably a lot of previews coming soon. And of course, my favourite little critter, Baby. Now, I, I know everybody, I can't pronounce this dinosaur, even though in a previous video, I literally googled it, got the pronunciation, and apparently that was wrong. I know, I know, I, I'm terrible at this. So, I'm going to try and just say baby from now on, and I know someone's going to be in the comments like, Oh my god, it's not actually called baby, it's baby. Yeah, exactly, I mean... Imagine if someone actually just translated that word for letter for letter and put that in the cup. You know what? One of you might do that and I won't be surprised. Anyways, so let's talk about Baby because there's quite a bit to talk about. The little duck-like creature for the Isle. This is literally going to be a duck and we actually have some stuff to showcase and talk about with some planned mechanics for the creature in the game which will be stuff like this. It'll be able to dive into water from heights, kind of like diving boards in a sense. The dinosaur is very buoyant as well, making it a little tougher to swim downwards because obviously it is a counterweight to make you go upwards with the buoyancy. However, it is is good because it means that you can quickly swim up when you know you are dying of you know oxygen loss yes that however when it is underwater it can grasp or latch onto stuff with its claws which ties into one of its mechanics for when it is doing that which is the foraging mechanic essentially you'll be able to detect animals that live underground under the waterbeds and you'll be able to try and dig them up as well which is really cool because you'll be able to latch onto the floor or grab something with one claw dig some stuff up with your other claw and then get some food which is a really cool mechanic and it is a nice little playing style for this thing but it does leave you quite vulnerable to 
Dinosuchus. We also got some images of Baby to showcase. One is it diving in the water, looking like a little duck, and then even further, it's sat on the top of the water like a little duck as well, which is absolutely adorable. Then we have two underwater. One of them is swimming down, and the other one, by the looks of it, is grabbing onto the bottom of the riverbed, or maybe doing some foraging. I'm not too sure. Personally, I'm very excited for Baby, my favourite dinosaur out of the current bunch that are coming soon. Well, out of Trudon and this. I, I'm excited for this because it's a new gameplay style and a new dinosaur in general. And of course, we're moving more into brand new dinosaur news with Ostroraptor being one of the next creatures to show off and also the next creature after this that we're showing off. It doesn't have a model, but it looks, it's going to be insane. You guys will like it. I think you already know what it is anyways. That being said, Ostroraptor has an absolutely beautiful model of the dinosaur that we can see. Firstly, this is made by Jake, who is the game's 3D artist who literally makes the dinosaur models for the game. That's literally, and, and environmental models as well. So he does the dinosaur and environmental models. He hasn't actually showcased a new dinosaur model for quite some time. He did say in the dev vlog itself that this was some time where he got given tasks for dinosaur models instead of environment models and he's going to be moving back to environment models after these are done that being said we can see a variation without the skin or colors on it which looks really nice and uh, we do have a variation of it with all the details on it to show you. One thing that you can see is the variation in feathers. And the parts of the dinosaur that are full feathers look great. Like you can see where it's going to be flowing and stuff like that. And just overall the way it connects to the dinosaur as well looks very nice too. Jake also says that the Ostroraptor needed a rate of apology for feathered animals it can be a bit of a hassle however it looks absolutely beautiful in the game in addition to the model we actually get a decorated and obviously more classy looking version of it because it now has colors and all that missing texture on it which it looks incredible i've said that too many times take a shot every time i say incredible or beautiful or amazing you'd probably be on the floor after this even though this is a great model and i will say that it's probably one of my favorite models in the game so far i love the parts where the non-feathered bits kind of look streamlined in a sense and the way they connect to the feathers as well and still look like feathers despite it just being a texture i also love the webbed feet which makes it is like kind of like ducks webbed feet but it's not as webbed this is evident between the two toes on the forefront leg it's great and it's a little touch in general that h pays homage to the fact that it will be a semi-aquatic carnivore in the game what do you guys think about it let me know your thoughts in the comments down below of this ostroraptor model and we're here we are in my desktop view now because We've got some concept art for Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes, the dinosaur that was just released into Path of Titans now has some pretty awesome concept art for it. And let's have a showcase of it. Firstly, let's just go over here. Tyrannosaurus fighting. I, I don't want to say what I think it is because I'm not sure what it is. Is it an aloe? Is it a giga? Is it an acro? It's something along those lines. But as you can see, it's killing it. That's all you need to say. Chomping down on its neck, which will probably be a finishing move for the dinosaur. Pushing a dinosaur to the ground, biting into its neck. Kind of like a kill animation in a sense. That would be pretty cool. Then we move on. A human or a Gen 2 looking at a baby Rex and the adult Rex. As you can see, the baby Rex actually looks like it's going to be very slim. Kind of like what the baby Rexes we know of look like. Which is going to be really, really nice. Next thing we see is what looks like Baryonyx. It's Baryonyx, I think, getting tossed around by a Rex, and that just showcases the power that this dinosaur could have. Imagine an ability where you're able to pick a dinosaur up and toss it onto the ground and break its bones and take so much health from it. Kind of like the Pachycephalosaurus headbutt, which deals, obviously, fractures. Maybe this could be a fracture-type attack in general. And then, of course, we move on over here to some kind of homage to, like, Jurassic Park, in a sense. Rex either breaking into a human area or breaking out of it. I think it's breaking in, but there are two Utahs there running away in general, so it could just be going for the Utahs. It does show that this dinosaur could have the capability to break open fences like this. We have seen that dinosaurs will have the capability to open them in the future, so maybe this will be the same for Rex as well, where it can just barge them open and break them, but we don't know if they were already open. Now we see it against 
what I do believe is a Giga. Now, they are not, well, they are fighting, but I'm not sure what they're exactly doing. By the way, what are these two dinosaurs here? Are they Hipsies? They don't like, they don't look like Hipsies at all. They've got more of a Ceratopsian type face or a Protoceratopsian type face. That being said, Giga and Rex fighting. This will be something that a lot of people will be creating when the game comes out. A homage to Jurassic World, the new one, you know. And you know what? I think Rex will easily win, although I'd love for Giga to actually be able to stand up for itself, and I hope it will, because I love Giga. I think it's one of my it's one of my favourite dinosaurs in general. Moving on here is a Rex attacking some Parasololophus, which uh, is a, you know, just once again, it's killed a baby. It's obviously KOSing. There looks like a tiny Coelophysis or Truodon right there. But yeah, this thing is destroying. You know, it's going to get banned for KOSing. Either way... It's pretty cool. I quite like it a ton. Um, and yeah, it just shows that Parasololophus will probably be helpless when it comes to fighting Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, these two are going to be running away by the looks of it. And this one is, is just dead. Imagine if you could tear off the tail of the dinosaur. I see that its head is around there. Imagine if it could just tear that off. That would be really cool. Anyways guys, that is Tyrannosaurus Rex's concept art. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. I think it's really cool. I love that it does hint towards some stuff. Being able to thrash some dinosaurs around. Obviously the baby. And being able to maybe barge down some fences. A size comparison between it and Giga. And obviously it being able to chuck some dinosaurs to the floor. Maybe a finishing move and crushing them with its very powerful bite. That being said, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you think about this concept art. But yeah, that is everything. And that's everything with this video. Of course, there'll be a video on Friday which is going to be going over all of the other stuff I haven't talked about from humans to the night vision system and some other stuff like AI and all that. So there is a lot of juicy information in the next video and I definitely think it'll be one that you guys will be looking forward to. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you are new, feel free to subscribe. We're trying to aim for 15,000 subscribers and of course, every little help so if you do like dinosaur game news from all dinosaur games this is the channel for it and of course live streams as well what more could you ask for anyways guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one have a great day peace